hey guys, it's uh, the holiday Christmas count up. And apparently Maggie wants to be in this too. I am super excited to bring to you today's movie. It's one of my all time Jason. favorite. Jason. Oh my God. What are you doing? I just. Get down Maggie. No, you're not in trouble. Jay is though. I want what to are be, you doing? I want to be a part so of this. So what, you're gonna steal my number 24? Do you even know what 24 is? No. That's right, no. Dumb. You can't be in movies. You wanted to be a part of this? You should have thought about this 24 days ago. Oh, you ruined my hand. I gotta fold the fridge. What is 24, Jay? Do you know? It's the number before 25. All right, get out of here. Hello everybody, it's me. Don't worry, it's not Jason. It's Andy's holiday count up, not Jason's holiday count up. He doesn't give a shit about Christmas. Obviously, trying to go behind my back, stealing number 24. Although I will give him credit, he did introduce me to this movie decades ago. Uh, love Actually. Seems to me that love is everywhere. Often it's not particularly dignified or newsworthy, but it's always there. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. Guys, ooh, Maggie is pissed that I got pissed at you. She's like, get out from in front of the camera, me, it's you mean. Oh no, she's just trying to sniff the cat's butt, that's all. Anyway, 24 is Love Actually, and it's one of those ensemble films that America has tried to remake. Um, a few times with that Valentine's Day one and Gary Marshall. Gary, I don't know who Gary Marshall is. Did he make Love Actually? No, he makes all the Okay, America. so Gary Marshall is just fucking it up for everyone, trying to make these, this, trying to find this magic again of an ensemble cast with intertwined stories. And he can't. We can't. Nobody can. Love Actually will never be redone any better and any differently. It is perfect. I don't normally like. British -y movies? American girls would seriously dig me with my cute British accent. You don't have a cute British accent. You may be a small country, but we're a great one too. I just don't. Like, this is coming from the same guy who told me that coupling was just as good as friends. <laughs> Couples? Coupling? Oh. Coupling, yeah. That's a fat lie. That's a fat lie. Coupling sucks so hard. Fight. Jeff, do you maybe want to fill us in on what you and Julia have been up to? Well, we were. We were spending a quiet evening in front of the television. But what if we do develop this solonite bomb? We'd be even a stronger nation than now. Stronger. You see? You see? Your stupid minds. Stupid. Stupid. Happens to us all, mate. All of us, in our time, are visited by the Melty Man. <laughs> There's nothing funny about the Melty Man, Patrick. <laughs> How do we know she is alive? The dingo took my baby! It's turkey time. Huh? Gobble, gobble. Ah, you can read. <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me! So when he told me you're gonna love this British movie, I was like, oh sure, it's gonna be like American Transformers, but it's British, or whatever, but oh my god, guys. Love Actually is so good. Everyone's story is important and heartwarming. You got the dad who's lost his wife and is, he's got a stepson to raise. And that kid went on to do other stuff and the dad was Liam Neeson, wasn't it? Liam Neeson is my shiznit. Liam Neeson's? 
Oh, we love Liam Neeson's Christmas Neeson's. Liam Neeson straight killed a robot boat. Um, and then you've got the woman who is somebody too. I don't remember her name. Everyone is a name. I'll tell you this right now. I don't remember all the names, but you will recognize everybody. Anyway, she's married to Alan Rickman, who oh, I just love him, even though he's a shitbag in this movie. Um, and they've got kind of some tough holiday time. She suspects that he's cheating on her. He is. We've got the newlyweds. What is it, that one girl? Uh, you know, I told you I don't know names. The one girl's getting married to the guy. Kira Knightley. Knightley, thank you. Jason doesn't know any actors unless they come from love, actually. Kira Knightley's getting married and someone else is in love with her. I look quite pretty. <laughs> Oh, the couple that's doing the porn together. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's just you get little snippets of everybody's story and, and they kind of intertwine. And it's just full of so much heart. And um, who's the actor that does the song? Bill Nye? He? No, no. Nighy? Bill Nye, the Christmas singing British guy? Yeah. Bill Nighy. Bill Nighy. Not to be confused with Bill Nye the science guy. He's Bill Nighy, the Christmas guy. He. He's an aging rock star that f hates Christmas. He's like, this song, they're trying to make him turn his number one hit into a Christmas song. I feel it in my fingers. In my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Love is all a oh, fuck, wank, bugger, shitting ass. But I just feel like this whole movie has got everything. It's got surprises, it's got humor, it's got tears, it deals with kind of heavy things. The problems and the tribulations and the happiness of everybody. Um, they have gay couples, they have people who've never met each other, they have a kid, they have older people. Like it's just the dynamics of every walk of life. And it's just smushed into this ensemble movie that works perfectly and it hit every good note and every actor and every actress and every story and every line is just perfectly written and it just makes you grateful um, even the bad stuff that happens in it it makes you grateful for all of the good things you have in your life this time of year is a good time for reflecting and love actually is a good movie to watch feel good about yourself have a little bit of a cry and just just be grateful oh it's such a good if you believe in Father Christmas, children, like your Uncle Billy does, buy my festering turd of a record. Poor Alan Rickman, I miss him so much. And I love him. All oh, Liam Neeson's, I love you too. I've had a lot on my mind. Work tough? Well, it's more of a love thing, actually. Oh, here we go again. Everyone in this movie, Bill Nighy. Hi, kids. Here's an important message from your Uncle Bill. Don't buy drugs. Become a pop star and they give you them for free. And Love you too, my favorite guy, he. You guys need to watch Love Actually if you have not. And I think there are probably a few of you that haven't. Watch it. Watch it and let us know in the comments if you love this movie as much as I do, because it's amazing. You just have a little bed and no couch. Oh. So you would have to share it with all three of us. And we can't even afford pajamas. Mm -hmm. Which means we would be naked. No, no, I think it'd be fine. Good. Great. <laughs> Number 24, the last movie on the countdown, and deservedly so, Love Actually. Stay tuned for number 25. It's the last one, guys! 25, last one. Not this one, this one's 24. Now, do what you do and hit that button, Jay. Smack it. Yeah, um, Mary, I've been thinking.